Cool. So who are you? I'm Luke Shepard. I'm an engineer on the Facebook Connect team. Very cool. And we're here in the new new Facebook building. If we are. That you just moved into. But today we're, uh, what, what are we going to see here? Uh, so we're talking today about how businesses can use Facebook Connect. Um, and it can be, so we're going to show how to set up Facebook Connect on the website for a small business. Yeah. Now, why would a small business do this just real briefly? Uh, I mean, so there's a lot of different ways to integrate it. Um, I think the primary reason is you want to reach your customers, engage with your customers directly. Um, and Facebook Connect, you know, m most or a lot of customers are on Facebook already. And so we've developed some tools that let uh, website administrators and small business owners um, basically interact with their customers directly. Yeah. Now, wh whose website are we going to look at here? So we're looking at my website for uh, my aunt. She lives in Wayne, Pennsylvania, and cool. she runs a, a class at the local activity center um, for bilingual toddlers. So Very cool. So this is a real business. It's a real small, business. Small business, since you're an aunt's business. Yeah. What are we going to do to it? Uh, so we're just going to spice it up a little bit. Um, okay. There's a wide variety of options for what you can do with Facebook Connect. You can go really deep and all this stuff. We're not going to do that. Today we're just going to do spend a couple of minutes and add the simple ability for people who come to her site to comment on her site. Yeah. And when they comment, they'll leave their Facebook uh, name in their profile picture and next to their comment so yeah. she can see what happens. What so this, this is what I call moving from 1994 to 2010, right? Yeah. So we're going to move her into the modern, modern web world with a Facebook Connect. The hope. So, so what do I need to know to, to mess with this website? Do, do, what skills do I need to know? So there's, I mean, we've targeted it at, at different levels of developer. So there's some people who don't know any code, and they just install either WordPress or they install, um, uh, in fact, most people install just like some software that ran, runs their web for them. Or their geek, uh, a geek in their family does it for them, right? Right, or you, you know, <laughs> she, she gives me, you know, movie tickets and I may have for her. But, Yep. If you're just a you know if you're a small business owner, all you know is maybe a little bit of HTML, so the web code, um, you can do it with that. So okay. we're basically going to target it at a little bit above that level today. Okay. Um, cool. We have a developers wiki. It's yeah. at developers.facebook.com. Um, you basically type in you know you you can get to it from the Facebook main site. There's a link at the bottom, I think. Um, and we have some instructions showing how to get started. Um, most uh, well every website has basically is made with some HTML, which t forms little tags showing how the website operates. Yeah. Um, all you'll need to do is figure out either the, it depends on the platform, but your template or sort of the body of the HTML. And we're just going to put three lines of code into the body of the HTML. Yeah. So uh, on this page, I've actually, this isn't the live website. This is a mirror that I set up just for this demo. Yeah. But uh, it's the same code. Okay. Um, another copy paste job. Um, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to move over to the code for this site. And I'm just using my text editor, but any text editor would work for this. Yeah. So uh, we're in Emacs here. You can see this is, this is the HTML code for the page. I um, mean, it's very simple, just in a table. Uh, this is the very bottom of the document. You can see the close HTML tag. Yep. So uh, somewhere very close to the bottom, preferably right before the body tag, we're going to add um, two lines of JavaScript. Okay. So you don't have to know JavaScript to write this, but Facebook Connect is powered with JavaScript. Yep. But you can just copy and paste it from the wiki. So some, for some developers, that's a little scary. But yep. So, but it's right before the end of, end of the body tag, the right. closing body tag. Um, and so I'm going to come, so I just set up where we're going to be, and I'm going to come back to the wiki. Yeah. I'm going to go to the Facebook developer wiki. I've already found the page. Um, it's just called Trying Out Facebook Connect. It's linked to from the side over here, if you look at on the wiki, developer wiki, yep. so you go down. I'm going to come down. I've, uh, we'll get to the creation of the app in a second. But basically, I'm just going to copy this line here. This is a script, a script tag. Yeah. OK. So we're just going to edit, paste. And I stuck that line of uh, code right in. Yeah. So it's just at the bottom. Right. So hit Enter a few times. I'm going to come back. So what that does is that just includes the library. That's, that allows Facebook now to operate in the site. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is set up my application. So every Facebook Connect website uh, is a Facebook application. Yeah. Um, if you've used any of the Facebook applications on site, 
um, like games or poke your friends or anything like that. It's the same thing. It's just living off-site. Okay. So, um, so what do you need to do to do that? So I come to my Facebook account, uh, and this is linked to from the, the developer wiki. Um, but I'm just going to go straight there. So you go to facebook.com yep. slash developers. Ah. Um, I'm just going to go there. Okay. So I log in, and I'm basically... So we assume you're already on Facebook, right? <laughs> I, if you're I, not, you're going to have to set up a Facebook a, account. Right. And, and all well, that. yeah, and uh, I mean, I, yeah, I do assume you're already on Facebook. Yeah. This is probably useful because you know that a lot of your customers are also using it, which they probably are. Yeah. Um, so I, oh, so what I just did is I clicked the Create a New Application button. Okay. Because um, I'm making a new application. Um, I'm going to call it with the name of the site that I just am creating. So her business is called Toddler Tiempo. Means toddler time in Spanish. Yeah. Um, I agree to the terms of service. Yeah. I click save, and I come in here and I see I have an API key. Ooh, scary stuff. Yeah. So it's <laughs> just a string. It just, it's basically just like a password or something. It says who you are to us, to Facebook. So I'm going to again. Just copy that. Uh, highlight this. Okay. Uh, and copy it. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the developer. So I've, I need an API key. Yep. I come back, and one of the next steps is to put this. So this script here says script type text, JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. And then it says fb.init. And this is just a, a single line of code that just says who you are to Facebook. Yep. So I'm going to come back to the site, type in script. I'm lazy, so I'm not copy pasting, because I already copied the other one. But yep. you, know, you could do it. Um, and then I'm just going to type fb.init and paste the API key. Yep. So that's half of the battle. Yep. Um, so the second thing that we pass to fb.init is uh, is our channel file, which is a uh, allows your site to communicate with Facebook okay. on the web. There's various reasons why we need it, and I'm not going to get into them. But uh, it's easy. You just come over to the wiki. Yep. Uh, all the way at the top, the, the first thing they do is there's a step that says create a cross-domain communication channel. Yeah. It, it, that sounds really long. Geeky. Um, <laughs> long, but create the file you need. Let's yep. just say that. So I'm just going to copy this. This is the entire file. It's only like six lines long. OK. I come over to my editor, and I make a new file. I call it XD receiver, and then I just paste it in. OK. So that's it. I save it, and I close it. Cool. And now all I need to do is, is, if I did it in the same directory as my file, which most websites you will, um, I can just put the name of that right there. Uh, OK. Uh, so you have to tell uh, your page where that file is so the server all can join everything yeah. together. Yeah. So you're basically telling Facebook where your, where your communication file is. Yeah. And you have to create that file. There's no, no way out of it. Yeah. It's to support for older browsers, yeah. OK. Um, so you make that file. It's a one-time setup. You never have to make it again. Okay. It's there now forever. You refresh your page, and let's go. Let's go check out the page. This is our page, and I, I hit refresh, and uh, nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah. Because um, we haven't actually added anything yet. Right. We've just done the setup, but that's the whole setup. So now comes the fun part, which is where I get to add various um, widgets and functionality to the site. Okay. So the one that we're going to add today is uh, using some FBM, some markup. Um, it's called the comments widget. Okay. And to do that, I just come in and somewhere in my document, I put in. So in this case, I'm going to put it right in this. This is her main page, and she has upcoming events. And yep. I'm just going to put the comments widget right underneath her upcoming events. Okay. So I'm going to go back over, and uh, I'm going to go find where it says. You know, here it says June 8 to 12. And yep. That's the bottom right over here. So I'm just going to put it right underneath there. Okay. I'm just going to say. So just like all these other HTML tags. A and H3. Yep. I'm going to put um, FB colon comments and then okay. slash FB colon comments. And that's okay. it. That's it. That's it. OK. So I, and the wiki showed me how to, what I had to do here. Yeah, if I go a, step by step through the wiki, it'll take me through this code. And yeah, so I have some place to watch it again. Right? Exactly, yeah. And we have okay. a video that shows in more detail how to do this. OK. Um, so I'm going to come back and we'll refresh the page. And let's hope it works. This is a live demo. Well, it's taped. And there it is at the bottom. Yeah. So I scroll down. So cool. It says I'm logged in because I'm, I'm, it detects that I'm logged into Facebook. Yep. Um, 
I can come in here and I can now say, you know, hey. This is a great service. Or uh, this is a fantastic class. Okay. Right. And if um, you save this now, it goes both to this page as well as your Facebook page, right? Well, let's see what happens. So okay. I click, there's this Bucks check says post comment to my Facebook profile. Yep. Um, and so I'm going to check that. All right. And I click post. So now my name and my profile picture showed up underneath it. And, uh, and it was posted on my Facebook page. So let me yes. go back to my, we can go check out my Facebook profile. And yeah, look at that. The, uh, the first feed story says it's a link to my toddler tampon. Very cool. And if you don't want all your friends to see this, you can click remove too. And you have all the controls yeah. that Facebook gives you. Um, it's that easy. Yeah. And then anybody who comes to your site, if they're not logged in, they see, I mean, I can actually show you, we can just log out. Um, you know, they're, they'll get an opportunity to log in and, uh, and connect with your site. Cool. Thank yeah. you so much. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to add this to my blog awesome. when I get home. So. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, there's lots of ways you can customize it. It looked a little bit, so I, the background color, I can change the background color if you uh, just wanted people to. They can change and customize it to fit and that, their And that all is explained in the wiki, too. So do you yeah. have full CSS uh, access to that? Can I add I believe so, stuff yeah. to my CSS to match my uh, template? To, yeah, or you, to can, you can configure the wiki. font. You can configure the background color. You can, you can change it, and we have some examples of that as well. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by and, I, you know, and for explaining to small business owners how they can be successful with us. Thanks.